Hello from my Vintage Audio File channel. This is the fourth video in the series of uh, vintage audio equipment that I have that uh, I have a passion for and would love to share with the rest of the world. Today we are going to review what is known as the TIAC 500 Executive Shelf System. There was a many different lines in this particular line. There was a 300 series, a 400 series, and a 500 series. Uh, the bigger the number, the uh, bigger the components. This happens to be the 500 series, which are about 12 inches in width by about 12 inches in depth and anywhere from four to six inches in height. Um, this was a line that came out from TIAC in the late 90s was one of the best out there period. Um, this was uh, something that uh, people really liked, really enjoyed, and there's still a huge following even to these days. Um, most of the uh, units that sold were sold overseas, but some did uh, show up in America and, and were bought by Americans. Um, I've had this system for a while. Um, it's a mixture of both uh, American and uh, UK products. The UK products have a 240 voltage, so I had to buy a step-down transformer to get them down to standard American voltages. Uh, the uh, amplifier and the Medius player are both uh, UK models. Uh, the others are all American 120 volt. Um, these still go for quite a bit amount of money. The uh, mini disc player is probably the rarest of the collection. It came out just as they were losing faith in mini discs and discontinuing the whole concept of mini disc period. So not many of them were sold. Um, if you want to buy one on the used market these days in this in this particular product line, you're going to pay three hundred or more dollars just for that uh, unit alone. The cheapest one is probably a tuner, which goes about a hundred dollars. I uh, guess a lot of people don't like to listen to radio anymore, but I still do, so I had to have one for my collection. Pretty much all the components here are all the components that were available in this original line. Later on, they released a couple other products for this line, namely a DVD player and a uh, amplifier that was an integrated amplifier built in with the, the radio so that you no longer needed a tuner. And even later that, than that, they came out with, with one similar to that, but it was 5.1 surround sound, so you could use it as a mini home theater system. This one is the original one, though. And if it looks kind of like the old stuff from the 70s, uh, especially with the amplifier, that's the way it was intended for it. Uh, that amplifier has a lot of different uh, functions on it. You can hook up tape players, uh, CD players, phono players, uh, mini disc players, just about anything you can think of. Um, the system was rated by the manufacturer about 50 watts per channel, but I think they seriously undervalued their uh, findings because I've, I've played things that are 75 watts a channel that can hold a candle to this. This thing I can barely turn on and it's loud enough for me. If I ever went all the way up to full, I, I'd probably would be deaf right now. It is a, definitely a very powerful little, little player. Um, and as you can see, as I close in on it, it does look like the old stuff from the 70s, um, even to the point where there are no analog dial, all analog and there's no digital dials or nothing like that like it was in the 70s. As we scroll down here, the next product you see is the tuner, which is a uh, standard digital tuner. Um, nothing too special about it, but it does play very well. It does get uh, very good reception. Uh, I can get so many stations on here that I can't get on any of my other tuners. And uh, the, the one that was a European model had the RDS built into it, which allowed you to see the name of the artist playing on that channel, plus the channel call letters itself. Unfortunately, the American version didn't have that. Maybe one of these days I'll get the uh, European version just, just to have a little more bells and whistles. 
Next to that below it, we have the uh, cassette deck. It's not your standard type of cassette deck that you see on the market. It is actually a sliding tray, horizontal uh, cassette player, but it plays and records. It does all the functions that a normal uh, system will do, including uh, resetting the, t t the uh, index time on it and everything. Below that, we have that expensive mini disc player that also has play and record functions on it. And it is a wonderful system. It uh, rivals any of the big boys with no problem. Sony, beware. Underneath that, we have a seven disc automatic CD changer, which is also a horizontal tray. You uh, insert one disc at a time and it stores them inside and then you can just play it for hours and hours and hours and do whatever you want with it. You can put it on shuffle play. You can do whatever you want to do. Um, you can even uh, sync it with your mini disc player or your cassette player and play tracks in, in whatever order you want and record them. One nice thing about the uh, both the cassette player and the main disc player is that they have a timer on it that you can either turn off, turn on to play at a certain time, or turn on to record at a certain time, which comes in handy if you're wanting to record something that you just can't stay awake for. The only thing in the system that isn't from this line, besides the speakers, because they didn't make a speaker for this line that was good enough as far as I was concerned, is the uh, turntable on top, which is a more modern TIAC TN300 turntable. It is the, the modern equivalent of the old timey type of uh, turntables. I will actually open this up here to show you what it looks like. And as you can see, it has all the earmarks of an old fashioned turntable. Works really good, comes standard with a uh, Audio-Technica 95N turntable cartridge and, and needle. And um, it is a more of the modern style, in which case it doesn't need a preamp included with it so that you can put it in any RCA jack input if you want. Plus it also has the uh, jack on the back to stick in a USB plug so that you can play it on anything that has USB, mainly a computer if you want to digitize your music in such a fashion for those rare albums that you don't want to play anymore to, to preserve them from getting ruined any further. You can digitize it and keep a clean copy in your digital files forever and play them from there and keep that uh, rare copy of whatever you're playing pristine and high in value. The speakers that I have for this thing here are a brand that, are, that is called DCM brand. Uh, a lot of people don't know about DCM. They've been around for a while, but they kind of fly under the radar. That being said, they still are a very good speaker. It's a standard three-way type speaker. And I've tried a lot of different speakers on this particular system. And these ones seem to work the best, the best sound. And of course, I do have the other one over here. If you ever get a chance to listen to this because a friend might have one, or you may uh, decide to buy one of your own, I guarantee you won't be unhappy with it. There is even a website online that is de dedicated nothing but people who own this particular product. And uh, you won't find a bad review of it anywhere. It, it is well worth the money. A system like this, if you're trying to assemble it yourself these days because the prices just keep going up because everybody is slowly beginning to learn what these things are and, and how good they sound, you're going to end up paying for what, what the five I've got here. You're going to end up paying probably $1,000. And uh, sorry to say, I know that's a lot of money, but if you're looking for one mini system, that's going to be something you're going to listen to forever and they're built like tanks, this is a system to get. 
Um, you might have to wait a little while to get all the pieces because usually they'll, they'll only come up one piece at a time. If you can find a system that's uh, got it all, go for it. You won't be disappointed even if you have to go on to uh, a European or, or for other foreign website to buy them. Have no fear. You can always buy a step-down transformer that you hook up to your regular outlet and you're going to have good sound, good quality, built like a tank, and it's going to last you forever. I, w w I wish I could play this thing for you so you could s hear how it sounds, but the way, the way YouTube is, if I play you anything besides my own spoken voice, they're going to flag me for copyright infringement. I don't want that, and I hopefully you wouldn't want that either because I wouldn't be able to keep giving you these videos. So for now, that's all I can tell you about this line, except uh, go out and buy it. If you like this particular video, please subscribe so you can have further updates on when, when my next videos come out or view my other videos. Like it, tell your friends about it, put, put, put the links on Facebook or Instagram or whatever social media you like. I would really appreciate it. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.